Hey guys, Kip here, back with another hidden gem. Or maybe it's not so hidden, I don't know. But, you know, I post what I want. But anyway, today we're looking at Zero C Vert. This game is $20 on Steam currently, and it is pretty cool. It's kind of like a mix between Stalker and Escape from Tarkov, but it's a top-down perspective. It's got a kind of like pixely graphics, and it's a very unique game, and uh, we're going to be playing it here today. I will admit I have played a few runs before, um, but I'm going to start a completely new run here, and we're going to see what we can do. So I am going to go with the Survivor preset. Because I tried Hunter, and Hunter, you lose all your items in your inventory when you die. And it is very, very... This game is very difficult, at least for me anyway, like starting out. So I'm going to play as Survivor. So it's it's got moderate difficulty. Resources and some supplies are less plentiful. Forcing players to be more strategic in how they use them. Enemies will be more aggressive and deal more damage. So I have to be more cautious and tactful in combat. And the player's character will have less hit points and will be able to take less damage before dying. So definitely not easy, but I will at least save some of my loadout when I die. I don't save, I believe, like stuff that I loot. But I at least save like my gun, my armor, and like my ammo. Alright, so now I gotta choose my class that I start with. And then these are all the items that I have. So it's just like Escape from Tarkov or Ghost of Tabor where you have a hunger meter. And you have a uh, thirst meter. Uh, there's also a stamina bar. There's a max weight of things you can carry. Um, I think I'm just gonna go probably with the assault class. I'm sure somebody in the comments will tell me, oh, you should have gone ranger or marksman. Cause I believe you can put a scope on this and you can get sh shots from long distances. But I think I'm just gonna go with the assault class with the I think it's like an AK seventy four U I wanna say. So we're gonna hop into it. Alright, so first thing I do is I talk to this guy and I look to do my first steps. My first objective is to survive one time in the forest and eliminate five wolves in the forest. So that is going to be our goal for this video. So I'm going to accept that mission. And here is, this is Zero C Avert. Uh, Zero C Avert is the bunker. Uh, I believe this guy can actually explain it. An old bunker built during the Cold War. It's the only safe place in Zakov. Here you can find all you need. Equipment, supplies, and tasks. So this is kind of like my main base. And everyone here is like an ally. Um, and then I'm gonna put some stuff in the stash. And then I'll probably keep a few things. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I'll keep that. Keep the ammo, obviously. And then... I'm gonna keep some of the bandages. This heals 15 wound. So you can... If you have a wound, you lose max health. So those first aid kits can get you back up to full health. And then there's med kits that'll heal you 50 health. Uh, and I have food and stuff for thirst, fatigue, and radiation. So I think I'm looking good. 
So I just stashed everything I didn't need in my bunker so that way if I die I won't lose it. Fresh meat, huh? Yes, sir. Alright, and then we talk to this guy. And this guy lets us go to different locations. So I'm still trying to learn the forest. And this is like the very first one. So we're gonna go to the forest. Plus, I think that's where I need to kill the wolves for the, my mission. Looks like it's raining. There's like different weather as well. But this is what it looks like. Your field of view is determined by where you're looking as well. Like you can't see behind you, so. It, it, it is top down, but it feels like first person. Because like, for example, um, if I'm trying to aim at like something that I can't aim at, like behind, behind this rock, my reticle is red now, so it won't let me shoot there. So it'll let me know like something's blocking the path. I also have a mini map I can pull up. Looks like we have an extraction point here. And then we have one here. I kind of want to come up here and loot a little bit. And then I'll head over to the other extract. So the thing is, you have to be very slow and stealthy, because there's a lot of stuff that can go wrong. I'm gonna enter this guy's house. No loot. Here we go. Oh, it looks like there's a camp here. Our little house here. Let's see if I can't loot this place. Hey you. I want to know something. Who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Coming into my house like this. Meh, sorry, not used to visitors. My name's Igor, I'm a hunter, I use on animals, blah blah. I have my trusty sounds Mosin and Toss 34 with me. Don't even think about it. If you want them, you'll have to kill me. I've been told not to kill this guy because I think he can provide me stuff later on. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave him. I'm just gonna leave him be. I always get a task for me. Let's see, collect four bandages, two med kits, and ten raw meat. Alright, I'll accept that. So, then next time I visit Igor, I'll try to bring him that. Alright. Let's head up here. So, I know there's a boss here called Lazar. Or Laser. And I have gotten my ass handed to me every time. So I just killed a ghoul there. They come up out of nowhere. Here's some meat that I needed for that mission. Let's see if there's any loot in here. Mm, yeah, we got some stuff. And what I can do is I can use this loot to, uh, like, certain items to upgrade my bunker over time. And my bunker will get better and better. Yep, alright. I just checked. I'm fully loaded. You can see my ammo in the bottom left. Take his meat and his tentacle. I hear another. I hear footsteps. Just, I don't know if you guys heard that too. 
I heard footsteps. Let's see what this guy had. Bread. Crackers. They look like they'll. Yeah, uh, yeah. They'll give me radiation. They're slightly radiated, so I don't really want them. What is this? Nail. Okay. Alright. Uh, see, how much ammo do I have? I still have a good bit. I barely shot. Haven't come across any humans yet. They're the biggest threat. I wonder if I should push, even bother pushing my luck and going up, or if I should just try and go for an extract. I saw another ghoul over that way. That noise you're hearing is radiation poisoning, by the way. So you can see right here, I'm a little bit ir irradiated. Very slightly. Not really, though. But Kill him. Haven't come across any people yet, so I'm thankful for that. Let's see what we got here. Anything good? Tire? Okay. Nice. That is not terrible. Let's see, I have 14.35 out of 18 kilograms that I can hold, so I still got a bit. Did I loot in here yet? Nothing in here. Okay. Alright, so we looted this area. I think I might want to start heading... Oh, there's a lot of radiation over there. Start heading uh, to my extraction. Let me loot some more here though. Nothing in here. There we go. What you got? Tape. Nails. Alright. Nothing much. Alright. Yeah, I think it's probably smartest for me to head on out. I just killed a bunny. run from the radiation. I still need to find some wolves. I need to kill five wolves. There's boars there, but boars, I, you don't want to F with those guys. Did I loot here yet? I can't remember if I looted here yet. Oh, the recoil is so difficult to control in this game. I probably should have tap fired. That's my bad. But thus is the game. So you can see I lost everything except what I went in with, which is pretty darn unfortunate. All right, we're gonna try it again. Uh, rain again. Really heavy rain. Alright. My extraction is up here, so I'm just gonna head north. Thunder is very loud. 
Oh, I hear a firefight. Oh, a lot of radiation there. Where was that? He's close. You got him. I'm getting irradiated this whole time. Did I get them all? That looks better than my armor. Alright, I'm very happy with that. Got a lot of good loot. I killed a lot of guys there. I'm carrying too much. Gotta go here too. loot wise so my main objective is just gonna be to extract now that's the first time I successfully took down an entire camp of people I just gotta make it out of here alive now. If I could kill some wolves along the way. Oh! Just so what I wanted. Did I get the mission done? to kill the bunnies. I shouldn't have done that. I feel bad. I didn't need to kill them. I'm a monster. Alright, what do I need versus what do I not need? I feel like USB sounds good. Scrap metal could be useful. Maybe the hair dryer and hydrogen peroxide. What do I not need? bottle of rotten water. I don't need that. Um, I don't think I would need knives. I kind of want to keep the rest of my stuff though. This is tough. I better get rid of a pistol. Is this pistol better? No, I'll get rid of the pistol. 
there. Now I have a good amount of weight. A lot of radiation, oh my gosh. Can't go that way. Oh, there's a whole squad here. I don't want to fight them. Do not want to fight that. I'm getting away from them. Here we go. Getting out of here. Nice. Very successful run that time. No way. Yeah, I know. I can't believe it either. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you. Okay. Hunger and thirst. Alright. Let's trade and see. Uh. Hold on, I don't know if exactly what I want to trade yet. Anyway, I think I'm going to end it there, guys. But I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, once again, this has been Kip with Kip Sudden Gems. Uh, this game is called Zero Sea Avert. It is $20 on Steam currently. It goes on sale sometimes as well. And uh, yeah, if you like what you saw, uh, you probably enjoy it. Uh, the only thing I didn't get to show off is uh, there's modules for crafting so you can get like uh, whatchamacallit building kit uh, for bedrooms store extra storage you can get all sorts of stuff um, and then you can track it so like let's say I want another bedroom or I want more storage for example I can track the items that I need so when I come across these items they'll be highlighted in game so I know like oh I need to get tape and I need to get the wrenches and so on and then you can eventually like have your bedroom here or here and you could have like a workshop down there and you can build up your whole base and it's got a lot to it, and like I said, I only played on Forest, but there are more maps as well. Alrighty guys, hope you have a great one, peace out, and see you in the next one.